Hello my friends, happy Monday. So I did not film anything in the lab today because it was quite busy. So I spent the morning uh, looking through my data from Friday. I can't remember if I told you, but we were in the lab until like 8.30 on Friday because we couldn't get the instrument until seven. So I did not do any data analysis at the weekend because I was working on the paper I've been writing for a very, very long time. And finally got my bits finished and sent over to my colleagues. So that's great, hopefully. We can send it to the journal soon. So yes, I spent the morning analyzing the data and then we went to check the chlorophyll concentration of the three species that we revived on Friday. Two of them were ready to go into the plates, but the other one was not quite ready. So we're leaving it to grow until tomorrow. But yeah, that's all really that was happening today. Nothing that you haven't seen before. But tonight I am going to a bar which has um, Breton style dancing. So it's the traditional dancing from the, the region of the area of Brittany. That should be very interesting. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty tired because I was up late trying to finish a book last night, but I'm going to power through and immerse myself in some culture while I'm here. So I will take you along and we will see what the night is like. <laughs> <laughs> Hello friends, happy Tuesday. I am just waiting for the hood behind me to warm up, let's say, because I want to check if that species of algae, which was not grown enough yesterday, is now grown enough today. So I'm going to check the chlorophyll concentration. Ah, oh, there's two magpies outside. That signifies uh, joy. Anyway, sorry, I'm getting distracted. Uh, last night was really, really fun. You would have seen that we went to the bar that had the traditional Brittany dancing. I did quite a bit of dancing and did not go to sleep until 1am. So it's fair to say that I'm pretty tired today, but we have a lot to do today, a lot of planning to do and hopefully start the new bioassay today in the afternoon, that would be good. Yeah, some of the results are looking really, really exciting and really, really great. So I have to do further testing now on some of the compounds which showed good results uh, to check if they work at either lower concentrations. So that's the plan for the next three weeks because I have this week, next week and the week after and then I go back to the UK. Okay, I am going to set up everything, filter the algae, get the chlorophyll concentration and see if they are ready to plate up today. Hello, it is later on in the afternoon. The algal species is not ready to be plated up. So I have been working on my materials and methods for uh, the first bioassay that I've been doing here. I've been trying to write it all up so it's just ready to go into my thesis, I'm trying to be organized because I'm beginning to panic about my thesis. And I'm going to start preparing samples for another test, another bioassay that we're going to do. So I'm going to prepare them this afternoon. But first I'm going to do the calculations using my Excel spreadsheets, but I wanted to show you something that Claire, who is the host here, she is like the professor in charge of the lab group, uh, she brought me a present, I want to show you. So I don't know where she got this from, but look at this cute little tote bag, it says uh, Université de Bretagne Occidentale, and it has a little fish on it, and inside there is, if I can do this, a cute t-shirt which says, uh, da, da, da. oh, I can't get it, which says international students are awesome, which is very, very sweet. And I also have, I can't do this with one hand, it's very difficult, a little cup that I can take home as a souvenir, very cute. And also, where is it? A pen. And I love a pen, so that is very, very nice. I think she must have got it from the, maybe the student office or something. But yes, yeah, very nice that she brought me one of these. I have some souvenirs from the university now. No pressure. No pressure. <laughs> um, Abba, did you tear the balance? Mm -hmm. You did? Yes, ah, because it's open. Ah, yeah, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I trust you. Why? <laughs> Oh, it's dancing. Lilia, we need one yes, point something I, grams. But I can't, I can't take it by, <laughs> with this. Uh, 
too well, small. Yes, that's why. This Chick is, uh, yeah, something. Happy Wednesday. I'm shy, so I'm not going to speak for long, but I am going to take a reading of the species plate that was under the light since Monday to see if they have grown enough but the instrument is being used from 12.30 onwards so I don't think I'm actually going to have time to do the whole procedure this morning and take the readings and everything so I don't know if I can leave them until t tomorrow afternoon because they might actually grow too much but let's see what the readings say now and then I can make a decision from there so I am stupid and I forgot one of the species I only took one so I have to walk all the way back to the other lab it's quite a trek honestly I am doing like 10,000 plus steps while I'm here so I'm going to get the other plate take the reading because this species is definitely ready and I only have three hours until the instrument needs to be used I need to be quick okay so I've secured the plates. I 100% get the most uh, stressed when I am under some sort of time pressure like this. When I have to, you know, get things done before someone else needs to use an instrument or only got a limited amount of time until I need to, I don't know, go somewhere else or something like that. That's when I get the most stressed, but I'm going to try and stay calm. I've got three hours, which is enough time because we were here on Friday doing this uh, second part of the experiment. We arrived at 6.30 and we left at 8.30, so it took us two hours. Should be all good. I don't want to keep the next person waiting. I just absolutely hate that. So I would like to be finished on time. I need to grab something again from the other lab. So here, down this corridor, maybe like 20 meters, is the lab that I'm working in. But I need to go up here along this corridor, this scary one that looks like a hospital, and the lab is right at the other end. So every time I need to go back and forward, <laughs> I need to go all the way. Oh, it's so tiring. Hello guys, happy Thursday. So I am feeling great today. As you will have seen from my last France Research Diaries weekly vlog, I've been trying to change up my routine. So I've now been here, this is my fourth week here. And last week I was like, right, I really, need to try and sort my eating out. I need to try and exercise because I was turning into a ham and cheese baguette. So I've been exercising quite frequently now. I've been walking to the university. If it's not been like pouring with rain, I've been walking back. And I have to say it's doing wonders for my head and for my body. So I'm feeling very, very good. I am going to do my five minute meditation now and then I'm going to walk to the university. But I just want to update you on what's been going on this week because I realize I haven't really vlogged that much. So I now have the results for six of the algal species. I still have to get one result, which I will get next week. We had some problems with the algae growing again. And I have some really exciting results for my thesis. I am generating so much data from this trip, which is absolutely fantastic. But I'm beginning to think, when am I going to have time to write my thesis? <laughs> so obviously I am like over the moon that I'm getting some really, really great results. And I have so much I can talk about, but it's it's making me kind of reevaluate my current situation and how I want to approach my PhD research when I go back to Scotland. So I think I'm going to have a discussion with my supervisor to ask him if it's okay if I reduce my lab time and spend maybe three days a week in the lab and two days a week writing because I have a lot of data to kind of make graphs and do statistical analysis and yeah. <laughs> And I also haven't properly started writing like the rest of my thesis with everything else that I have done during the other three years of my PhD. And I'm supposed to hand in by the end of February. So that might sound like a long time because that's literally like seven months away. But when I have such a big task like hanging over me like that, it makes me feel quite overwhelmed. Um, but if I could properly get started with writing and have days dedicated to writing, if my supervisor says it's okay, then that's where I, that's what I think I need to do in order to be in a better place about my thesis. Because at this point, I feel like I have done a lot actually. I haven't really given myself enough credit for the amount of work I've done and I think I have a lot of data that can maybe make up my thesis already without having to do any more lab work. It's crazy to say that out loud that I potentially 
I need to get my supervisor's confirmation. Maybe he'll say, no, Jessica, you have not done enough. <laughs> you need to spend the next three months in the lab doing a lot more work. But to me, it seems like I might have enough to write my thesis, <laughs> which is crazy, but very, very exciting at the same time. So I'm going to chat with my supervisor and see what he says uh, when I go back. And yeah, it's all very, very exciting. So for now, I need to do my meditation because I'm running a little bit late. And then I'm going to walk to the lab and I will show you the assay that we're doing today because we're doing a completely different bio. I see. So I just wanted to show you what my typical kind of layout of the fume hood is. So all of these sheets of paper have the 96 well plate layouts for all of the plates that I had to prepare for the MIC study. So I was very, very busy that day. Here's my 96 well plate. This time I'm using a transparent one because I'm not working with the algae. Remember the algae needed the black one. So this is all my stuff. And here are all my samples that I prepared for the MIC study. I think I had four different concentrations which required a lot of falcon tubes and a lot of labeling and a lot of dilutions. And yeah, I think you get the gist. Here is a sneak peek of what I was working on for the other assay. Please ignore the flashing light. I don't know why the lights are doing that in this lab. And finally, we have this lunch that I had from the student cafeteria. It was my first time going there. And as you can see, the food was a little bit uh, interesting. Uh, it wasn't the best food I've ever tasted, but for three euros, you got dessert and a salad. It was all right. Hello, friends. We are incredibly busy. Uh, I haven't really filmed very much today again, I'm sorry, but I am plating up the plates for the MIC testing, so the minimum inhibitory concentration testing, with the good results, uh, the good compounds, let's say. But we're also doing the other assay at the same time, and I have to prepare all the samples for that assay this afternoon, because we only have this afternoon to run the samples, because uh, we've prepared all of the reagents. So, we're in a bit of a rush. <laughs> we don't have much time, and I always get very stressed when I'm under time pressure like I was mentioning yesterday but hopefully we managed to get everything done and we don't have to leave at like 7 p.m because I am incredibly tired <laughs> after working on Sunday getting the paper finished and this week has just been non-stop so I would like to finish at five o'clock <laughs> I'll try and keep you updated when I can. Because I'm prepping samples at multiple concentrations for the minimum inhibitory concentration study I need a lot of Petri dishes because as you've probably seen, I pour the samples into the Petri dish so I can use the multi-channel pipette because you can't use a multi-channel pipette directly out of a falcon tube. So I have gone to the lab at the other end of the building, down the weird creepy corridor, to get the Petri dishes. Now back to preparing the plates. so tired guys we have done so much today i'm preparing four more plates and you might have seen from like the plate layout paper that they are all completely different so i have to really focus on making sure i put the right samples in the right plates in the right positions and we are still waiting for the run to finish of the other bioassay that we're doing that took a long time to prepare today and this is the second plate that we are running so we're very much multitasking today um the first results were a bit strange so we're not sure if something went wrong maybe somewhere i don't know um it's been a day and a half it's been a week, honestly. What a week. Busy, 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 busy. <sighs> I'm ready to go to bed, I'm not going to lie. It is 6 p.m. and I am still here on a Friday. I just had a meeting with my colleague about the paper we're submitting because we want to submit it next week and we're getting some feedback from someone else who's a specialist in one of the areas that we speak about in the discussion. We've got some comments, so we have to edit the paper according to the comments. 
Why does everything come on a Friday? Honestly, get me out of here, please. So I have acquired the data. I'm just going to quickly analyze it to make sure everything's okay. So I know where we stand for Monday and for next week. So I'm going to say goodbye here. Thank you very much for watching. I feel like this week was a bit chaotic and I didn't really show too much in the lab, but that is just the reality of how this week has been. It has been very, very busy, but we're getting lots of good results. So all good. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!